My husband and I have been watching Tolkien's incredible work, The Lord of the Rings, this weekend, and I was extremely taken by the second uh, episode, which showed Gollum having this conversation with himself in the cave as he had lost himself in the fetish, in the ring. So he was stuck in the cave and uh, he had one particular scene where it was really close up and it was basically his conversation back and forth, uh, basically from Romans 7. I know what I want to do, but I can't do what I want to do. I keep doing the sin that's within me. You're good enough. No, you're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. So it was just such a great uh, ex example of what happens to us when we have farmed out our identity to something person or circumstance outside of us. And then we render ourselves, as mentioned in uh, 2 Peter 2.19, we render ourselves imprisoned by that which we've given power to. A man is enslaved to whatever has mastered him. And I'd like to bring in another scripture this morning from Luke 5.5, 5, which basically offers us an incredible story <clears throat> for reflection where Peter was exhausted. He had worked the best that he could work with all of the resources that he had all night long, and he was absolutely exhausted, casting his nets to no avail. There was no fruit for his labor. Yet Jesus said, go out into deeper waters. Take your nets, go out into deeper waters, and cast with confidence. So Peter, as much as he pushed back against it, listened to the Lord. And then he experienced an abundant harvest. In fact, the nets were so full, they were almost breaking and can barely bring in all the fish that he caught. There's a link between Luke 5.5 5 and 2 Peter 2.19. Because oftentimes we will find ourselves enslaved by the doing in life rather than leaning into God. A thought came to me this morning, when we come to the end of ourselves, it is then that God kicks in. And so I invite you today to step away from the experience this month of constantly doing, doing, doing with your own effort. Lean your personality back into the Lord and invite his strength so that we can take back the power we give to our doing to define our sense of worth and value. When we lean back into the Lord, as Peter did, in spite of his exhaustion, he leaned back into the Lord and trusted in his word over the, over the, circum, over the circumstance that confined him. I've worked all night long. I have stressed myself out with my own efforts, and I have nothing to show for it. And Jesus calls us up and out. When we come to the end of ourselves, it is then that God's power kicks into our lives. So I encourage you today to surrender all to God. Reflect on Luke 5.5 5 and 2 Peter 2.19. A man is enslaved to whatever has mastered him. Have you become enslaved to what you do over the person that God is calling you to be? Give more authority to the strength of God within you than to the work of your hands. And be patient as you wait for the harvest to come.